We're gonna do a nice well-rounded practice. So let's get started. All right, begin lying down on your back. Take a moment here just to let the muscles relax, let your body drop into the mat. <clears throat> so let your tailbone drop down so you feel your lower back lengthen. Let the shoulders drop and let the head drop. Then put one hand onto your belly. And as you relax, just feel your belly rise and fall with your breath. Good. Now, without your hips twisting, bring your right knee in, hug the shin in, and stretch your left leg out along the floor. Instead of how far you can bring your right knee in, think how long can you stretch your left leg and grow your mountain pose line through your spine. Breathe through your belly again. Then set your right foot down. Hug your left knee in towards you and slowly slide the right leg out along the floor. Nice and smooth. Stretch down through your leg. Then set your left foot down bring the right knee in towards you, take your right foot up into a strap. Be less interested in how close the leg comes to you, but instead, how even you can make the hips and keep the length of the lower back. Then slowly start to slide the left leg out and stretch down through the left leg, down through the foot, as if the foot is pushing into a wall reach. And don't worry about if this top leg gets all the way straight or how close it comes to you, but more about the even quality in the hips and the length of the spine. Then bend your right knee and change legs. Right foot goes down, left knee comes in, Take the left foot up in the strap and make the hips nice and even, even if you have to let the foot come away from you a little. Slowly start to stride your right leg out along the floor. Reach through your right leg, descend your thigh, let the shoulders drop down so that you're not trying to muscle your way into it, but just real mellow you're entering the practice. Take a breath into your belly and feel how you can expand. And as you exhale, let yourself drop any tension you don't need to be holding. <clears throat> then re-bend your knee. Roll over to your side and press yourself up to seated. Then come onto your hands and your knees. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. As you exhale, round through your back, look back towards your navel. Inhale, draw the chest through, tip your sit bones up. Exhale, round out. Inhale, roll chest through. Then come into neutral spine, and without letting your hips twist, stretch your left leg back like a plank leg, send your right arm forward, then lift the left leg up an inch. As you exhale, bring your elbow and your knee together. Inhale, reach back out. Exhale, elbow, knee together. Inhale, reach back out. Exhale, elbow, knee together. Inhale, reach back out. Set your hand and your knee down. Change sides, right leg goes back. Left arm forward. Lift back leg up an inch. 
exhale elbow knee together. Inhale, reach back out. Exhale, elbow knee together. Inhale, reach back out. Exhale, elbow knee together. Inhale, reach back out. Set your hand and your knee down. Point your toes back and reach back into child's pose. Then look forward, come up onto your hands and your knees, curl your toes under, lift your knees, and stretch back into down dog. Bend both of your knees, lift your hips, and stretch down into your hands. Then walk the feet back a bit and come into plank pose. So in plank, your shoulders are right over the heel of the hand. Spread across your chest, reach through your toe mounds down, and push back through your heels as you lift your belly up. Now without your hips twisting, raise your right leg one inch. Engage the low abs, lengthen. Change legs, lift the left leg one inch. Set that foot down, set your knees down, lie down onto your belly. On your belly, bring your hands onto your lower back. Let your elbows round towards the floor. Then inhale, lift your head, chest, elbows up. Wake up your scapula, bring your shoulder blades onto your back and slowly lower back down. Inhale, come up. Wake up those shoulder blades, bring them onto your back and lower back down. Inhale, lift up. Hold, stretch the arms straight back behind you. Raise one leg an inch and lengthen the sides of the back evenly. Raise the other leg an inch. Turn the blades onto the back, spread your chest, and lower yourself back down. Then bring your hands behind your head, forehead down. Let the elbows round down. Inhale, lift the head, chest, elbows up. Press the tops of your feet down, lift your inner kneecaps. Exhale, lower back down. Waking up the upper back nice and slow. Inhale, come up. Let the chest reach towards the floor and forward as the elbows lift. Lower back down. Inhale, come back up. Reach the elbows out to the side and up. And hold. Then stretch the hands straight out to your side. Spread wide, as wide as you can. Stretch the arms back. Raise the other leg up an inch. Both legs up an inch. Slide the hands next to your waist with the fingers pointing back. Turn your blades onto your back. Reach both hips evenly out of your back as you reach the heart forward. Then turn the hands around and keeping the shoulder blades on your back, start to roll up into a little baby cobra. Roll the chest back down. Roll up little baby cobra. Roll the chest back down. Roll up into big cobra. And lift the knees. Then set the knees down and stretch back, child's pose. Then come up onto your hands and your knees. Step your right foot up to your right thumb. Left knee down. Stretch down through your hips. Bring your hands to your right knee. Start to upright yourself. Then lift up and pull your lower belly up. Raise your arms. And bring the hands back down. Curl your back toes, lift your back knee up, stretch your back leg as you lengthen. And change sides. Bring your left foot forward, right knee down. Stretch into the lunge at first. Then bring your hands to your left knee, upright yourself, and pull yourself up out of it. Pull your belly in, stretch down through your hip, raise your arms. Bring your hands back down, curl your back toes, and lift your back knee up. Breathe length into your lunge. 
Good. Then step your back leg forward, feet hip distance apart. Let your head drop down. Put a little bend in your knees and slowly roll yourself up to stand. And stand tall in mountain pose. Good, so just take a moment here, balance yourself over your ankles, bring your palms together, and we're gonna do an inner ohm. So take a breath in through your nose, and as you exhale, ohm. Drop your arms to your side, inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step the left leg back into a lunge. Lower your knee down. Inhale, your arms up. Exhale, curl the back toes. Lift the back knee and step into plank. Set your knees down. Lower down onto your belly. Inhale into cobra. Press through to up dog. Stretch back to child's pose. <clears throat> Step your left foot up in between your hands. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands down, curl the back toes, lift the back knee, and step the back leg forward. Fold forward, let your head drop. Inhale, come all the way up to stand, raise your arms. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, raise arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step right leg back into a lunge. Lower your knee down. Inhale, your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands down, curl your back toes under, lift your knee, and step back into plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale into cobra. Hold in cobra or come into up dog. and stretch back, child's pose. Bring your right foot up in between your hands. Inhale your arms up. Bring your hands back down, lift the back knee up, and step the back leg forward. With a little bend in your knees, stretch your chest forward, inhale, flat back. Exhale, let your head drop. Press into your feet, inhale, come all the way up to stand, and bring your hands to your heart. Then with the feet hip distance apart, sit back into chair pose, arms forward. Draw your belly back and in, get strong into your heels. Make sure that your knees track straight ahead, they're not twisted in at all. Then come back up to stand. Inhale, sit back into your chair. Root into your heels, get strong into your chair. Pretend like there's a little chair right behind your butt. You're trying to sit your butts back into it evenly. And come back up to stand. One more time, inhale, sit back into your chair. Root the heels, stretch the toes forward. Grow the spine tall. And come all the way back up to stand. Mountain pose. Good. Tree pose. Vrikshasan. Bring your right heel up onto the inside of your left thigh. And bring your palms together. Still reach down into the center of your left heel. Grow tall up over the front of your left ankle. Then interlock your fingers. Take your right index finger on top, send your arms forward. As you draw your inner arm bones back, re-bend, and then raise halfway up as the inner arm bones deepen. 
Rebend. Go up a little higher, but let the inner arm bones drop in. And rebend your arms. Bring your hands down. Change sides. Take your left heel up. Place it way up high along the inner groin. Press down into the center of your right heel. Stand tall. Interlock your fingers, other index finger on top. Send the arms forward without the rest of the trunk moving. Plug the inner arms in. Bend your elbows. Send your arms up halfway. Bend your elbows. Send your arms up a little higher. Plug the inner arms in and rebend your elbows. Bring your hands back down. Lower your leg down. All right, let's do a few standing poses now. Separate your feet wide apart, but as you go wide apart, still keep a lift from your pelvic floor through your belly so that your trunk is nice and tall. Turn your right leg all the way out as the left leg turns in slightly. Keep your lift, bend your right knee, set your forearm down onto your thigh. Stretch down through your back leg, grow the spine long through the line of the back leg, then take your left arm and reach it all the way over your ear. Inhale, come back up. Turn your foot in. Stand tall through the midline. Turn the right toes in as the left leg turns all the way out. Bend the left knee. Put your forearm down onto your thigh. Lift through your trunk as you stretch down into your legs and take your top arm all the way overhead. Inhale, come back up. Parallel your feet. Stand tall and lift it through the midline. Bring your hands onto your hips and start to tip from your hips. Fold forward. Set the fingertips down. Inhale, reach the chest forward. Exhale, belly in. Walk your hands over towards your left ankle. Walk your hands back to center and over to the right ankle. Walk your hands back to center. Inhale, draw the chest forward. Exhale, walk the hands back and let your head drop. Inhale, flat back, come up high onto your fingertips. Exhale, hands to your hips, come all the way up to stand. Step your left foot, turn your left foot out, step your right foot up to the top of your mat, and stand nice and tall. Inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up onto your fingertips, reach your chest forward, then step your left foot back about three and a half feet. Then start to straighten out your right leg as best you can. Reach back to your hips, through the sit bones, connect back towards the wall behind you as you lengthen out, grow the spine longer. Then draw your belly in and lengthen all the way out over your leg. Inhale, come back up onto your fingertips. Now, as you activate your core, float your arms back behind you like jet airplane wings. Turn the shoulder blades onto the back, turn your biceps out. Lean your chest forward and float your back leg up from the inner thigh.
Then set the left fingertips down onto the floor, right hand to your, chip, to your hip. Reach and turn your chest. Still keep the back leg strong. Good job, fold forward, Uttanasana. Little bend in the knees, let your head drop. Roll yourself back up to stand, mountain pose. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step the right leg back. Reach back through your hips as you elongate through your trunk, straight out. Then draw your belly in and round your spine over your leg. Inhale, flat back. Draw your belly up as you float your arms back behind you. Then lean forward and float the back leg up from the inner thigh. Turn the biceps out, reach the chest forward. Then set your right fingertips down, left hand to your hip. As you spin and turn the chest, keep lengthening out through the midline. And fold forward. Let your head drop. This time, inhale, flat back, stretch your chest forward, step back to plank. Take a vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Exhale, stretch back to down dog. Then from down dog, shift forward and set your elbows down onto your mat. Hug your armpits in and down, pull your belly up, straighten your legs, and as you press down into your elbows, squeeze the armpits down, pull your belly in, cross your right ankle up and over your left and squeeze in with your legs. Change the cross of your legs, squeeze in with your legs as you pull your belly up. Uncross, and set the knees down. Come back up into plank on your hands. Stretch back to down dog. Then from down dog, set your knees down. Sweep your legs around out in front of you. And sit up straight and tall, Dandasan. From your Danda, lean back halfway. Pull your knees in from the grip of your abs. Legs up. Arms forward. Then nice and smooth with control, round your back down onto the floor, come into half boat with one leg forward. Change legs. Now grip those abs in, turn them on, both legs forward. Take your right leg straight up, reach your hands up and over to the outside of the ankle. Change sides. Change sides. Change sides. Then bring both legs up, hands behind your ears, cross your right ankle over your left. Squeeze your hips up. Lower your hips in your head. Change the cross, crunch up. Squeeze your hips up. Lower your hips in your head. Uncross the legs and open up all four corners of the backs of the knees. And then without your shoulders lifting 
or the spine twisting, slowly lower the right leg halfway, grip the low abs, lower a little bit lower, as long as you don't let the lower back lift, keep it lengthened. Then slowly scissor the legs, change in midair. Slowly scissor, nice and slow. Going faster won't help. Make sure that you're using your muscles instead of momentum. Slowly change, but don't let the neck grip up. Let the shoulders relax. Slowly change. Slowly change. Bring both legs up and lower both legs a third of the way. Another third of the way, grip those low abs, back up to the ceiling. Lower a third of the way, lower another third of the way, back up, bend your knees, set your feet down. Let your right knee fall over towards your left big toe and open your elbows up to the side. Change sides, let the knees swivel over to the right. Then bring your knees back to center. Take your feet hip distance apart. <clears throat> Press your feet down evenly, lift your hips up. Roll up onto the tops of the shoulders, keep the neck free, lower your hips back down. Now bring the feet closer together, lift the hips up. Without your hips twisting, bring the right leg in a tabletop position. Keeping the length in the trunk, stretch the right leg forward, rebend the knee, and set your foot down. Change legs without twisting, left leg up. Left leg forward, lift up your buttock, bend your knee, set your foot down. Set both hips down, let the knees open up, soles of the feet together. Rest a hand on your belly, just let your belly rise and fall with your breath. And bring your knees together, hug your knees to your chest, roll up to seated, sit with your legs crossed. Have the left shin in front of the right, sit up tall and make sure to bring your lower back in so that you're nice and upright. Twist to your right. So as you're twisting, you want to create buoyancy through your disc instead of letting your disc and your back crunch down. So keep lifting up over your sit bones as you're twisting. Think of yourself like how a bottle cap unscrews. Twist upward. Come back to center. Twist to the other side. Grow the spine upright as you're twisting. Come back to center, change the cross, and twist to your left. Twist to your right. Come back to center and take it right down through the middle. With each exhalation, let your navel plug back to your spine. 
And then as you inhale, visualize your whole back body spreading and opening up. Lower back, back ribs, upper back, shoulder blades. So less about how far you go, more about how the breath is helping you to open up what feels sticky. And come back up. <clears throat> Change the cross of your legs. Bring your hands in front of you. Lift your chest. And exhale. Start to go forward. Inhale, walk your hands back towards you. Then <clears throat> sit with your legs stretched straight out in front of you. Draw your belly in and up and reach towards your feet. Inhale, come back up and roll down onto your back. Turn your hands at your side, palms facing up. Let your feet fall open. Adjust your buttocks, your hips, so that your pelvis feels like it goes into neutral. Adjust your shoulder blades so that they're onto your back. Shoulders relax, Let the back of the head drop. So you might feel like you're still trying to control some things in the body. So just practice letting go of the control of the body. Let the body drop now. And practice watching the breath without manipulating the breath at all. Just be a witness. Watch the breath move in and out through your nose. So meditation is all about just training your concentration. And it's normal for the, the mind to want to wander and drift. Instead of trying to arrest the thoughts, just allow the thoughts to come and go and keep training your concentration back onto your breath. Let the sounds around you come and go. Let the thoughts come and go. Keep coming back to the breath. Then take a fuller, deeper breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Gently bend your knees and roll over to your side. Press yourself up to seated. Bring your palms together. Sit up tall with your chest open. Just notice the shift that comes at the end of your practice. With your eyes closed, notice how the body feels, all that energy moving through the body freely now. Notice the quality of your breath. And also observe your current mental state. 
then lower your head to your heart, being grateful for the time that you made to practice today and all the benefits that practicing yoga regularly brings you. Lift your head and open your eyes. Thanks, namaste.